Hi, today we will create a all gate design which are supported in VSGL by default. We would be using Jalinx Vivado for today's design. So we will write a VSGL code for all gates in one module. Then we will simulate the results and then we will review the semantic design for this module. So this is exercise 1 which you can try to start with. So let's start. First we will open the Vivado application. So search for Vivado and open the application. Now it is opening. We are creating a new project. So click on create project page from the welcome page. Now this is new project wizard. Click on next. Now enter the project name and project location. Suppose we give all underscore gates. Click on next. Now select the RTL project here and click on next. This is add source page. We will create a new file. So click on create file. Now first select the file type which is VSDL in our case because we are designing in VSDL. Next give the file name. So let's give all underscore gates. Now click on OK. So new file is created as all underscore gates dot VHD. Now select target language as VSDL and simulator language as VSDL and click on next. This is add constraint page. We are not working on the PGA at the moment. So leave this blank here. Click on next. This is device selection page because we are only doing simulation in this video. So it is really not matter that what device you select. So select any device, kit or part and click on next. This is project summary page and this will display whatever we have configured in this process. So we created a new project. One source file was created so it will be added. We didn't give any constraint file and we selected some random device. So click on finish. Now it is creating the project for us. So this is the next window where we will define basic things of our module like entity name, architecture name and port declaration. So let's define the input output ports for this module. We will need two inputs for this module. We will have A as a first input, so direction is in. We will have B another input, so direction in and gate direction out or gate direction out, not gate direction out, NAND gate direction out, NOR gate direction out, XOR gate direction out, XNOR gate direction out. Now click on OK after defining all the ports of our module. So this is creating our VSD file. So all gate is our entity name. Behavior is our architecture name and all gates.vsd is file name. So we will double click on it. Now it will open the editor for you where you will code your design and you will see that it already created the VSDL structure. So default library declaration is there. Then entity is designed for our module and the input and output ports also defined because we defined that during the module definition. Also architecture body is created. So you just need to write the behavior of your design. So let's write that quickly. So and gate gets a value of A and B semicolon or underscore gate gets a value of A or B semicolon not gate gets a value of not of A semicolon NAND gate gets a value of A NAND P semicolon NOR gate gets a value of A NOR P semicolon XOR gate gets a value of A XOR P semicolon XNOR gate gets a value of A XNOR P So we defined all the basic gates in VSGL. Now save this code. In the left you will see this flow navigator panel. Now look for the simulation tab. Click on this. Now click on run simulation and then click on run behavior simulation. It will open the simulation waveform window. This is the simulation window. In the left all the input output ports and signals will be listed. So A and B are our input type signal and others below are our output type signal. First we will restart this simulation. Now we will give some value to input A and input B. So select input A, right click and then click on force constant. First select the value type. So we give binary and then force value. 
suppose we give 0 for A input ok now select B right click and then click on force constant select the value type so we give binary and then force value we will give 1 for B input ok now we will run our simulation for 10 nanosecond so we'll click on this button and it will run the simulation for 10 nanosecond let's adjust the zoom level first and adjust the window for better view move this yellow slider so you can see input A is 0 and B is 1 now look for our results first is AND gate which is 0 this is ok now second is OR gate which is 1 this is ok too now third is NOT gate of input A so this is 1 which is ok now fourth is NAND gate so this will be the inverted value of AND gate so this is 1 next is NOR gate and this will be the inverted value of OR gate so this is 0 next is XOR gate which is 1 for value 0 and 1 and last is XNOR gate which will be inverted value of XOR gate so this is 0 this means our design is good however this was the simplest one now let's change the input to value 1 so select input A right click and click on force constant select binary and give value 1 ok now we need to run our simulation once again so click on this button and it will run simulation for 10 nanosecond more now adjust the zoom level little and move the yellow slider to new value now both inputs A and B are 1 and we see AND gate is 1 OR gate is 1 NOT gate of A is 0 because we didn't change input A NAND gate output is 0 which is inverted value of AND gate NOR gate output is inverted value of OR gate XOR gate is now 0 for value 1 and 1 and XNOR gate is now 1 which is inverted value of XOR gate perfect right now we wanted to see the RTL cinematic for our design so from this left panel look for the option synthesis expand this option open synthesis design here all elements are grayed out so we need to select top model so for this click on the project navigator at the top of this left panel now you will see the source window and then select your design source so in this project we have just one so click on this now you will see all the options listed under synthesis so click on cinematic now so for this navigate to synthesis expand this open synthesized design then click on cinematic now it is opening synthesized design ok so this is the structure you will see 7 boxes here one for each digital gate so first is AND gate click on this box so it is listed AND gate LUT next is NAND gate next is NOR gate next is NOT gate this is OR gate this is for XNOR gate and this is for XOR gate this is input line A which is connected to all LUTs input second line is input B which is also connected with reference LUTs and these are our output lines one for each gate next look over the cell properties now so select this first box for AND gate now under cell properties click on truth table and you will see the truth table for AND gate for two inputs next click on NAND gate box so it will show the truth table for NAND gate now you can check for NOR gate next for NOT gate so you see the values are inverted at the output here same check for OR gate so it is 0 when both the inputs are 0 else output is 1 next XNOR gate getting output 1001 I hope you feel confident now to code your VHDL designs in Xilinx Vivado application and simulate them with your own if this video is helpful to you then please like and comment on this video and share this video and don't forget to subscribe for regular updates thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a like and leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for regular updates